Nearly a thousand years ago, these cliffs near Santa Fe in New Mexico were inhabited by a community of Pueblo Indians. These early inhabitants extended natural hollows in the soft volcanic rock of the 200-foot-high cliff face and then tunneled sideways to make interconnecting rooms in which they were able to live. Cool in summer and warmed by fires in winter, the people of these two-story cliff dwellings lived peaceful lives, growing corn on the valley floor and tending their animals. But as Lucretia Williams, a Puye cave site guide and herself a Pueblo Indian says, life was far from idyllic here. So when we first arrived here in about 900 AD, the super volcano had created this area for us. So when we arrived, it was existing with these already made caves for us. So we just manipulated the caves to suit our family needs. But as we progressed, um, we then developed the two-story caves and then later progressed to this two-story structures to the front with the cave rooms being more of our back, back rooms. For instance, this would have been considered our refrigerator. You know, we would have definitely housed a lot of our valuables in that back room along with our food. This volcanic tufa is really fine dust, so what the people would do which is evident here, is they would create this plaster and plaster all the walls, ceilings, and floors just to keep this dust level down. Right, yes. Because with inhaling this over time, mm. as well as being in close quarters with their fire, they didn't live very long. Rooms on higher levels were reached either by ladders or steps cut into the rock. The regular holes supported floor joists. Signs over the doorways indicated which family was living there. These wall constructions are recreations by archaeologists which show how some of the caves would have looked in the 15th century. The community lasted 300 years and at its height was home to about 1,500 people but drought and a series of poor harvests led the inhabitants to seek new homes and more fertile surroundings. Echoes of this way of life can be seen at the Pueblo village near Taos, now a World Heritage Site. The village is divided in two by Red Willow Creek, a fast running stream which provides water for the inhabitants and their animals. The multi-storied houses are built from mud mixed with straw and some have been lived in continuously for a thousand years. Cooking of the traditional blue corn flatbread is done in wood-fired domed ovens which are dotted all around the village, some having seen better days. There is no running water or electricity in the houses and no plumbing either. Until the late 19th century, access to the ground floor of the houses was from the roof, the ladder being pulled up in case of attack. The outside walls, often several feet thick, are maintained by regularly replastering with layers of adobe. So what is it like to live here? It's nice because when you build a fire in the evening, it's real quiet and content. And then you can even hear the stream flowing. And the walls kind of help to give it contentment with real thickness. And so a lot of times when you build a fire, it kind of like, um, like small, soothes your pains and kind of your worries at the end of the day. Although peaceful now, the village has experienced its share of death and destruction. The last time was in 1847 when the American army guns destroyed the church and killed 154 Indians sheltering there after they rebelled against the U.S. occupation of New Mexico. The Pueblo martyrs are not forgotten and the ruins of the church is their memorial. Today, a new church stands a short way away. Tourism plays a major role in the economy of the village. The villagers make jewelry and leather goods to sell, as well as traditional food, including blue cornbread. Blue cornbread? It is spectacular. Is it really? What yes, is it? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's corn. Think of it like a pizza pie. They flatten it out <laughs> to the sides of a pizza. All right. And then it's they bake it. It's ground blue corn.
corn. Mm. This is the lady, the lady made it for Oh, corn. really? Okay. It's well worth it. It is delicious. Hi. Hello. How much do I have to pay for a piece of cornbread? It's that large. Oh. And it's uh, six dollars. But I guarantee you, you will eat the whole thing. Up. Do you think so? I can guarantee you're going to love every morsel. Really? Really. All right. Oh well, six dollars, eh? Well, what we appreciate is the peace and quiet we have here, and the safety of living here. Um, our children grow up learning the traditional ways here too. And we've lived like this for so long that if a crisis were to happen in this world, we would not know what that is like because we would continue to live the way we do. Yeah. But I think um, I think that's a great way to live and, and know that you can always live like this. Village life in Taos Pueblo goes on as it has for hundreds of years although the tourist economy has replaced some of the more traditional ways of life. Traveling in time from here back to the caves of Puye and their inhabitants does not seem such a gigantic step. Excellent.